Let me share a story with you around an important subject, and I think it's a subject that all leaders can relate to. It relates to the notion of why leaders should embrace interruptions. Years ago, I was running a program with a co-facilitator and a co-author of my book, Touch Points, Meta Norgard, and we were walking around the lake after a session with high potential leaders. As we walked around the lake in this very bucolic setting, she asked me, Doug, how can you go back to your office with all the interruptions, the phone calls, the interruptions in the hall, the interruptions in meetings, how can you go back to your office and feel like you're going to get work done? And when we talked about it, I responded this way. I said, Meta, I don't view these as interruptions. I view them as opportunities to help people. On the back of that conversation, we, we had this amazing realization that you can have powerful leadership connections in the smallest of moments. And we're in a world that is filled with interruptions. Whenever I talk to audiences, I say, do you think you will be more interrupted tomorrow than you are today? And to a person, they all say yes. Our observation is that we have to embrace these interruptions because they're a way of life. And we encourage people to embrace them with a notion of making them opportunities to have powerful influence over people who have needed to interrupt us. Sometimes we think about, well, I don't have time for the interruptions because I have to do my work. I'm here to tell you that in the future, these interruptions will become your work. And you need to manage them exquisitely if you want to be a leader for tomorrow. So make the most of the opportunity to embrace these interruptions. Do them smartly, listen carefully, advance the conversation, and complete them in a timely way, but engage in these interruptions in a thoughtful, smart way. Good luck.